In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Gantt chart template here in Google Sheets. So a Gantt chart in Google Sheets is a project management tool that visually tracks tasks, timelines, and progress. It helps manage resources, set deadlines, and identify task dependencies. By organizing project timelines, it provides a clear overview of the schedule and ensures tasks are completed efficiently and on time. So before we get started with our template, let's try and see where to find this template. So first, what you're going to do is to go to your Google Drive. Then go to your Google Apps right here next to your Google account. When you click on it and scroll down, you will see Google Sheets right here. If you click on it, you'll be redirected to the Google interface, where at the top, you will see the template gallery. At the bottom, you'll have your previous spreadsheets. So let's go ahead and click on the template gallery right here. Here we have the different type of templates that are available for you to choose from. And you'll see the Gantt template right here under the project management category. And if you click on it, you'll be redirected to a new spreadsheet with that template inside. So a Gantt chart's primary feature is the timeline. This timeline is represented by dates spread across the top row of your chart. For this one, it is done by week and it shows when the project begins. For this example, our project begins at this week right here on a Friday. And it will also show you when the tasks are due with the due date and the overall duration of the project. For this example, we have a project that will last us for four phases and with 12 weeks. So on the left hand side of our Gantt chart, you'll see the list of tasks and activities that need to be completed for the project. Each task is typically associated with a row and the tasks are ordered based on when they need to be started or completed. That's your start date and your due date. So based on the start date and the due date, the duration of the task can be calculated. So if I click on this one right here, you'll see that we have a formula days 360 with a cell reference of our start date and our due date, which gives it the duration of three days. And the next core visual component of our Gantt chart would be the colored bars. These bars represent the duration of each task along the timeline. They start from the task start date and extend to its end date, giving a clear view of the time allotted for each task. Now, if you want to see a progress bar for each of these tasks completed, instead of this PCT right here, if you wanted to add a progress bar, you can do so by adding a progress bar at the end of your timeline, or you can also just add it right here in between your percentage and your timeline. If you want to check out how to add a progress bar, I'll add a card at the top right corner of this video. So again, the great thing about using Google Sheets is that Gantt charts are highly customizable. You can easily adjust the dates, the duration, or tasks as the project progresses and the chart will update automatically. This flexibility ensures your project remains on track. And there you have it. So again, the same with our invoice template. If you have to edit something within your chart, all you have to do is to double click on it and start typing all the details that you need to add to make this your own. And before we go, I'd just like to add a cool feature that we have right here at the left side, where we have some of our rows grouped together. So for this example right here, we've only progressed as far as number two in our project and definition and planning. So we can simply collapse these parts right here so we don't get too distracted with the other tasks that are not yet to be completed. Because again, since some of these projects depend on each other, unless we have finished the first part of our project, we won't be able to move with the next phase. So once you're done with that, then you can simply expand these rows right here to continue monitoring the progress of your projects. And there you have it. That's how to use the Gantt chart template here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.